In our previous episodes, we discussed sustainable operations and design for sustainability. One of the critical strategies in creating sustainable operations is implementing a recoverable manufacturing system that focuses on systems designed to extend product life cycles through remanufacturing and repair. Welcome to Force Edu, a place where all supply chain enthusiasts come for a weekly dose of knowledge. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel you are missing out on value adding content. In a manufacturing environment, remanufacturing is the method of restoring end-of-life products, components, modules, and parts to a relatively new condition. It starts with the reclamation of used durable goods. These items are then disassembled into pieces, usually called cores, which are washed, inspected, and checked to determine whether they meet appropriate quality requirements to be reused. Some parts transform into waste. It is possible to repair or reconfigure those that do not adhere to requirements. These used parts and some new ones are then combined to reassemble the original core from which they were retrieved or to create a product with a new identity. The restoration process is likely to save resources, use less material, and have a lower environmental impact than conventional manufacturing, which produces entirely new goods manufactured from virgin materials. Various products are remanufactured these days, for example, rechargeable batteries for automobiles, machine tools, medical instruments, automobile parts, computers, office furniture, aircraft, aviation equipment, tires, etc. Production usually constitutes the primary source of satisfying demand in current industry practice, and companies turn to remanufacture as a secondary source to supplement production performance. However, this pattern can be reversed by an increased focus on developing sustainable operations. Some of the benefits of remanufacturing are Lower price Because of the cost savings made by the recovery of the product's materials and energy content, remanufactured goods are usually cheaper than a new product. Availability A remanufactured product may be available with a shorter lead time for imported goods to be ordered overseas. Besides, Remanufacturing can allow the consumer to continue using devices that are no longer manufactured. Purchasing flexibility. As remanufacturers have a genuine interest in knowing and restoring their goods, they could provide various services to their customers beyond the initial sale. Leasing, take back, modifying, supply and operate offer benefits for all parties. It is possible to amortize capital costs, strengthen supplier relationships, and whole life solutions ensure that there are no end-of-life disposal issues. For a remanufacturing operation to function effectively, an organization shall do planning for the reverse flow of returned products from end-users. Besides the benefits, the reverse flow of used products poses specific challenges. First, the amount, efficiency, and timing of reverse flows are unknown. This is due to the customer's pattern of use the customer's particular choice of what constitutes a valuable life, and how disposal needs to be done. The installed base of the product also affects the inflow volume of the returned product. However, it isn't easy to correct the ambiguity of consistency. To partially correct the quantity and timing ambiguity, companies should have recourse to buying back practices. The other challenge is logistics difficulties. It is challenging to organize an effective product take-back network because of the condition of the returned product, the handling complications, mainly when there are toxic remains in the returned product, cleanliness, and other states. This is all about remanufacturing. Thank you for watching the video. Check out our previous series on lean management and stay tuned to our channel force edu for a lot more on sustainability and operations.